What's good, R&B squad? This is Art of Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new here, welcome. We don't believe that you're here by accident. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, always happier. So I have a word, and I want to start this word off with a little bit of blessed assurance so that when you hear it, you will not be troubled in your spirit. The Lord took me to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2, and that reads, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Okay? And um, if I sound a little nasal, guys, or I sniffle a bit, it's because my allergies are acting up. So, um, yeah, there's that. But it's not that bad. So, um, I think I'll be able to get through the word. Amen? Basically, that scripture, that Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2, let me tell y'all something about that scripture. That is basically the Lord echoing, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He didn't say that the weapon wouldn't form. He said that it wouldn't prosper. All right? So I had a dream, and it it wasn't even a dream, though. It was more a vision than a dream, okay, because I wasn't asleep. I just shut my eyes for like a minute. It was only for a minute. And I saw this man. He was standing there looking at me, and he had horns growing out of his head on either side of his head, okay, close to his temple area. At first, I thought that it was one of those um, horned helmets, but he actually had literal horns growing out of his head, okay? And he was just standing there, and he was looking at me. Sometimes he looked at me, sometimes he didn't, sometimes he looked away. And it was only for a minute, but yo, the arrogance... The arrogance that I saw in this man's expression, the arrogance in his eyes. And that was it, okay? And when I sat with the Lord for him to help me understand what he was showing to me, he took me to Psalm chapter 35. And I'm not going to read the entire psalm because it is pretty long, but I will look up some key parts of psalm 35 and what you guys can do is that you can actually read the entire psalm for yourself on your own time okay so the first the very first verse plead my cause O lord with them that strive with me fight against them that fight against me and then there's another part that stood out for me i'm just looking for it Stir up thyself, this is verse 23, and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. That is a very powerful psalm that you guys can include in your prayers when it comes to warfare, okay? When you're facing warfare. And guys, the Lord helped me to understand when I sought him further on what it is he showed me. Now, you guys know that anything that has to do with a man with horns or a man with a goat head has to do with satanic worship, Satan worship, okay? And the Lord pointed out to me that there are people and things that we need to be careful of, okay? And it's so funny that he would have said this to me because... One of the persons whom I get on coaching calls with, a client of mine, we were discussing this just last night. We were discussing this just yesterday about the fact that she was sharing with me that there was someone that she knew this person was your standard Christian. You would think that this person was, you know, your normal average run-of-the-mill Christian. Someone who goes by the book, by the Bible. But then this person starts expressing the fact that they have all of these beliefs that are anti-Christian. Okay? And she said that she was so surprised because she never expected that from this person. But she feels as though God allowed her 
to hear this person saying those things to see the true nature of the beast, okay? And I say that not to insult anybody, but just because the beast is operating behind these persons, all right? And it can be a person, it can be a thing, it can be a place. The Lord helped me to understand the proper definition of Antichrist. When we think of Antichrist, we immediately think of the book of Revelation, right? The Lord said to me that Antichrist is anyone or anything who puts himself in the place of Almighty God. Someone who is so puffed up and so arrogant that they believe that they're a God unto themselves so that they don't need to answer to God. And as such, they're an enemy of the Most High God because they do not fear Him. All right? And funny enough, after having that conversation with the, the young lady who got on the coaching call with me, I encountered a young lady whom I know who is also Christian. And I mean, this young lady, she also looks like your average run-of-the-mill goes by the Bible Christian. Okay, this girl preaches the word every day or almost every day, every time one one every time someone comes into encounter with her someone meets her she's preaching the word okay but this young lady was wearing this this um this 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 jewelry and the jewelry was it it, it had some sort of satanic symbol on it and i remember looking at her and i was astonished because i knew immediately when i saw the jewelry what it was and what it signified. And I wondered if she knew. If she was just wearing it in ignorance. But the Lord was like, mm-mm, she knows. She knows. And I remember I just, <laughs> I just backed away slowly from it. Because I just didn't want any part of it. And the Lord used those experiences. The experience that my clients shared with me. And also the experience that I had with this young lady to let me know and to let you guys know it all tied into me seeing the man with the horns okay the man with the horns if you looked at him and he didn't have the horns he would seem very unassuming no one would expect someone like him to have horns growing out of his head okay but he had horns growing out of his head and he was very arrogant he was very smug when these horns were growing out of his head all right so the Lord is saying that there are things and people that are not of him. They're of the Antichrist. And make no mistake, there is no middle ground. The biggest lie the enemy tells us is that there is a middle ground. That you don't necessarily have to be Christian, but you don't have to be evil either. You can just be in the middle. There is no middle ground. Anyone who is not for Christ is anti Christ. It's so important that we understand this as Christians, okay? So whether they realize it or not, they're not in Christ, so they're walking around open to all kinds of spirits just entering them. And then these spirits recognize the God in you. They recognize the Holy Spirit in you. And then they want to come for you because you have the Holy Spirit. Okay? Some of you will notice at this time that things are trying to, weapons are trying to form. And I express trying to form. I put stress on trying because they're forming, but they're not prospering. Okay? Don't be surprised, some of you, if your past comes calling, okay? And your past is going to come calling and... Some of it is not going to look like an attack. Not all of it is going to look like an attack. Sometimes when your past comes calling, it looks like it's coming in peace. Okay? It looks as if it's coming with good intentions. But it's an attack in disguise. Let me share something with y'all that happened this week, okay? I got an email from the folk over at my very first job. That was the first job that I ever had right out of high school. I wasn't even in college yet. In the interim between going off to college and leaving high school, I took this job, okay? That was my very first job. 
I have not been in contact with these people in a long, long, long time. All of a sudden, they send me an email. I don't even know how they got my email address, okay? But guys, there are people that are going to be watching you and you don't even know that they're watching. But the Lord is going to make you aware. I'm a public figure because of this platform. So my email address is out there. And I don't know if someone from the organization found my email address that way, but all of a sudden I get this email in my email inbox from them, right? And they're offering me, they're making this offer for me to come back and assist some of the trainees who are just coming in, okay? They want me to come in and train these people who are just coming in to take on the job that I used to do. And they make it sound like it's this friendly offer. But the Lord had already went ahead of me years ago and told me to dust, to wipe the dust off my heel and not to go back to that place. So I'm saying this to say your past is going to come calling and it's going to look like it's not an attack for some of you. It is going to appear as if, if it's a person that they're coming in peace. It's going to look as if, if it's a thing or an organization or whatever, they're going to look like they're coming in peace. It's going to look like it's a peaceful offer, like it's an olive branch. It is not. Do not fall for it, okay? And for others of you, you're actually going to see stuff pop up, things that are trying, weapons that are trying to form, but they're not going to prosper. The Lord already spoke the word of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 over you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. The flames will not set you ablaze. You're untouchable. Okay? And the reason why you're going to see these things happening, the reason why the Lord showed me this arrogant man who represented the Antichrist, and I just broke it down for you guys that anyone who is in opposition to Almighty God, they're not on his side and they're on the enemy's side. They're on the side of the Antichrist. A lot of these people and things are going to come for you because of the fact that the Holy Spirit is in you and the Spirit in them is aware of it. Now, for most of you, you're chilling. You're over here chilling because you don't, you don't even realize, you don't even notice that the weapon is forming because the Lord is blocking it. And you're over here at peace. Your spirit is, is, is at rest. You are so blessed. So you don't have time to even notice these weapons that are trying to form. Okay? And another thing, trust and believe that if any of it touches you, the Lord is getting ready to use it. For his glory and for your good. Okay? That was something that the Lord had to talk to me about over and over and over. Because ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to know why. You guys know Sesame Street? Where are my Sesame Street fans at? Y'all know Sesame Street? There was this song called I'm Curious. There was a Sesame Street short with that song. That song was written about me because I always want to know why. If the Lord allows something, I'm like, why? Okay? The Lord had to show me over and over that if he allows anything, that's belief he's going to use it. So he's get, if he's allowing it for you, he's getting ready to punk Satan. Like, okay, you tried this against my child. Well, look what I did. Look what I turned it into. All right, but most of it, 99% of it is not going to touch you at all. So there are all kinds of weapons forming around you and you're not even aware of it. You're chilling. You don't even notice these apparitions, these entities in human form coming for you because the Lord is blocking them. And this is going to be happening for you because for a lot of you, because remember, the Lord gave us a word and he said that this is harvest season. You're getting ready to reap. Things are breaking off in the spirit. Things are taking off in the spirit and they're about to take off and break off in the natural as well. The enemy knows this, so he's big mad right now. He's upset. So he expects him, fully expects him to line up these entities. And I call them entities because that's what it is. It's an entity operating in, inside a human being or inside a thing, inside an organization, okay? It's, it's the enemy operating behind these places and people and things. So expect that these things are going to pop off. 
that people are going to start acting a little weird around you, okay? Because your harvest season is here. It's not even around the corner anymore. It's here, okay? So I hope that that word blessed someone, and I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.